Hey, I'm back. Hey, how was your walk? It was good. I've been living on the mountain now for several weeks, and I'm actually really starting to feel more like a mountain girl. I have to give Jen a lot of credit because she's doing great. But now there's more work to do. Because tonight, we're going to go home for some frogs. I hate frogs. They're like the worst thing on the planet. Here we go. All right. Let's get it on. Let's get some frogs. Let's take these straps off. I feel like I've been in situations with you guys before that I wasn't 100% on. I'm not 100% right now. Frog gigging is a rite of passage. It's one of the things you do first in your life growing up as a child on the mountain. You hunt the frog first, skin it, and then you eat everything that you kill. You're with me. It's totally safe. And trust me. I had a traumatic experience with a frog when I was young, and Charlie thinks if I can conquer that fear, I can overcome anything. I'm so scared right now. Well, baby, we're going to get the frogs back for all the fear that they've caused you through your lifetime. I feel like they're traumatizing me more right now. All right, we're ready to roll. Charlie, what, what's your biggest fear? God's my biggest fear. I'm facing God right now. So God's a frog? <laughs> a frog? <laughs> I don't think so, Jen. <laughs> From my understanding why Jen's afraid of frogs is that when she was five or six, there was a rainstorm, and she went hid underneath a huge pine tree, and underneath there was a frog. A gigantic frog. It was like a foot tall. It was a foot tall. Okay, so there's a foot tall frog <laughs> underneath the I gigantic. swear. <laughs> Where am I sitting? In the middle. I don't like it. All you have to do is sit on the bucket for right now. The frog and I were under the tree together. I ran for my life, and he chased me out from under the tree. I'm running in the rain, and he's on my tail, hopping after me in the rain. Gigantic frog. Foot, foot tall frog. Foot tall frog. frog. I am so scared because I, I can't get out. I'm, get, I'm about to be trapped. Do you understand what I'm saying? They can't jump in the boat. As comical as it seems, her fear is genuine. It's gonna be fine, I promise you, <laughs> okay? But look how close I am. There's nowhere for me to go. If I freak out, I'm going in the water right now. I won't bring the frog near it. you. I won't bring him near you. What I need you to do right now, baby, is get in the boat. Okay, let's go find him. I'm just going to let Jeremy paddle. You're not selling me, Charlie, on me being here. Why, why would I need to do this? Because you love me? No. I don't think I do right now. <laughs> Jeremy, we might have one down here. Are you being real? He's right there. Uh, we're looking at... 20 feet. Oh. Yes. Yes. No. 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 I'm in a boom. No, I cannot. You better keep Here, that thing. You better not let it. Come, Jenny, get over the there. Bucket. The bucket's near you. You think I'm gonna sit there and stab a frog on, on the end of a stick like that? No. I got him. I feel like I'm in a horror movie. I do. Being trapped on this boat at night with these frogs is my biggest fear. I'm in a panic, but I don't feel like I'm like conquering my fear. I just feel freaked out about it. Got him. Got him. Not one thing fun about this. I think I'm now even further traumatized by frogs. But I did something in spite of a great fear that I have. I think that shows courage. And I know Charlie was very proud. It was almost like an act of love towards him to get on that boat. 
This is the grossest thing that I've ever been a part of in my life. Whew, I don't like that. That's so creepy. Here we are, baby girl. What you think? I think it's about to be cold as <laughs> I'm talking about the creek we got. It's beautiful. Right? Get in. <laughs> Maisha seems to be really enjoying herself out here, and that just makes me happy to see her coming into her own. Balls and toes. You want me to wash those for you? <laughs> Mia came out here for a trial visit to see what she thought of it all, but it just didn't work out, so she went back home. We're about to deworm them. <laughs> Who's helping on this one? You going to do that? Mm-mm. You going to try? I said no. Mia seemed to have the open mind, but just not the work ethic to follow through. Being in a relationship with just one person is already difficult, but finding another person interested in this lifestyle probably going to be twice as difficult. You got the fire going? Sure. That's part of the poly thing. You try it, it didn't work, you move on. You're a better judge of character than I am. What do you think we learned from our time with Mia? We didn't get no alone time. Where would we get alone time? What do you mean? Where would we expect we are living in a tent, a one-room tent? The same way that we're like at the creek now. If yeah. she was here, she could easily be at the tent and we could be at the creek. Yeah. I feel like she was your shadow, not mine. She moved wherever you moved. Yeah. Well, I don't feel like there's been a time for a long time. I don't see how it, we could, there was an alternative. To what? We're all living in one room. So that's why the question is, do you feel like we had enough alone time? No, I don't. Right. It would have been the exact same way in the house as it is out here. All right. I still don't get it, but OK. Yeah, we learned, <laughs> moved on. Poly relationships are not easy. They're hard. And you can go from having, like, a great one to a horrible one just with one mistake, communication. Like, if you cannot openly communicate what you need to, then it's just not going to work, and it goes left fast. So has this changed your approach or your vision of what we're going to do here? I mean, I still want other people out here. I just think that they have to understand before they're here permanently how things are going to be. Like, I feel like any female that comes in has to understand that I'm, like, the number one female. Yeah. It's like, I'm not looking for a sister or wife. I'm actually looking more for... What's up? Yeah. We'll have to teach. This is another learning and teaching opportunity like how you took so well to power tools and the nail gun, they'll take to raising baby goats or chicks. Even though Mia didn't work out, the queen is still on a hunt for a third. Now I think Maisha understands that not all pretty people have the right mentality to work on a homestead. Well, there are plenty of fish in the sea, but if you take out all the fish that aren't poly, take out all the fish that aren't up for this homestead lifestyle, then that leaves a pretty small school. But you know how many bitches say they're poly and they're not, though? Oh, that's why we do it on a trial basis. When you were fishing off the pier, yeah, it's hard to find what you want, but we have a very unique bait, <laughs> and we'll see who bites. We're just playing it by ear. After the night at the bar, I am feeling a little less sure about Josh and his intentions. Hey, cheers, salute, my friend. Jack with Jack, you know, chase it down. Ready for another drink? Yeah, I'll do a Long Island. Long Island, you got it. Oh, Lord. Are you attracted to me? I'm still attracted to the way that you took care of me, and that's more attractive than looks. Josh and I got into a huge fight back home. Put my the pillow. We ended up sleeping outside. We got home from the bar. I've been having fun. She says she's been drinking. 
only has a couple drinks. I figured she's probably turned off by it a little bit. I really didn't ask her about that. And I'm really just ready to get to bed.